Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so always take what it feels right and if what resonates within your own life experiences at this time. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Sagittarius, it seems you have a lot of things going on at the same time um, from different aspects of your life at this period of time that may cause you some time a little bit of uh, stress or anxiety in terms of trying to understand how to deal with all of those things at the same time without losing anything in the process. So this can create and promote a state of nervous energy that you should really look look towards with attention because especially if you feel that you cannot sleep right, you cannot think right, you cannot really concentrate upon the matters, it's because this nine of swords here challenging you, it's, it's promoting this um, negative focus in your mind and this negative uh, scenarios that didn't happen but that end up, you end up creating and manifesting them into your reality because of that negative focus. So it's telling you to pay attention to your mind this week, to really focus on what you are uh, trying to balance and achieve in your life at this time because there's a lot of growth and a lot of opportunities to create something that truly gives you that sense of abundance and uh, erases your self-esteem and your ability to connect with yourself, with your body, with nature, with life at a different level. And this is something that has been brewing over you because you have the moon in your unconscious position. So the moon in the unconscious is very powerful. You have been feeling more and more sensitive. Maybe you have been feeling this need to withdraw, this need to reflect upon things that you didn't before maybe you had this or you will be having this weird dreams this weird synchronistic events around you that really uh you put uh, your attention towards to manifest something that maybe you never thought before or a path that you are thinking about creating or thinking about uh learning more that you never considered before and the moon in the unconscious also is like you are in a period of uh, release of many fears and insecurities that um, may still hold some power within you and all that backstage energy, all that um, behind the scenes type of energy, psychic energies, spiritual working here um, in your unconscious to heal you and develop a higher connection within your uh, rational mind with the irrational, subjective, family and conscious side of your brain it's like all this 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 focus to bring both together to work in the same um to, to work as a, a team it could create some restlessness sometimes because it's near it's new to you you don't know how to handle these energies yet in a balanced way because it's something that is probably being manifested to you for the first time and you are adapting to this new uh, more sensitive, emotional, creative type of uh, viewpoint, relationship, circumstances around you. They are forcing you to adapt again to this new vision of life. I don't know. I feel that you had a, a sudden a realization or a clarification or an illumination, an enlightenment, a dream, a sign that really put, put you in the path of understanding things that you didn't before because you allowed yourself to see things from a different perspective and from a different light and to go beyond what was in front of you. Why? Because I believe more than ever you are putting a focus as well in your own emotional happiness. In what you feel it's your deserving path of, ha of happiness, of what it is for you what that means the true happy ending what is your true happy ending because in the current position you have ten of cups which is a beautiful card so either emotionally financially 
um, in terms of love, in terms of family, in terms of spirit, you are driven to find this completion, to find this satisfaction and this stability in everything because you are feeling this need to connect wider with all areas of your life, but that end up giving you, in the end, emotional happiness and emotional contentment and where you develop this inner trust with everything in life where you stop trying to resist to explain to fear because you have this new gain sense of how to go after what truly makes you happy in some way i think you had this with this moon you have this weird but amazing beautiful vision of what you want in the future uh, to be your happy ending and so because you're still not there yet and because this uh, uh, this tests tests you and challenges you to go beyond your reality at the at, until this time to go beyond what you truly perceive as reality of what you used to know for fact that it was your life maybe this is why it's creating this nine of swords and this your mind is going crazy with all this new type of information, with this new type of, of information that you've gained and you acquired. And if you're listening to me and you have no clue what I'm talking about, wait for the development of this week's and pay attention to any subtle energies around you, pointing a finger, pointing a clear finger into your path of happiness and what happiness means to you for the long way so also because in the in the present position together with the ten of cups you have the empress so empress taking care of yourself and others having this abundance of love this abundance of creativity this abundance of wealth again in all areas of life because the empress is is the incarnated feminine archetype that it's in touch with nature itself what is more abundant and in sync with life than nature so everything develops everything is fruitful nothing ever ceases nothing is sad or disappointed because everything has its own period of growth beauty and blossom and so the empress is this character character of beauty it's Venus, it's attraction, it's this uh, compelling artistic quality of enjoying life to the finest levels because you are worthy of it, because we are worthy of it, because we deserve to enjoy the finest in life. And I think you, uh, you gain a consciousness that maybe you were settling for less than what you deserved. Maybe your self-esteem was down. Maybe you didn't love yourself enough, or maybe you didn't take took care of yourself and others enough. And now you're realizing that you have this mother quality in you to share. Not only to share, but also to give yourself towards. So you could be pregnant and fertile with a lot of ideas, with a lot of plans, with a lot of creative uh, solutions and projects of what you want to do. Uh, to your future self to make it happy and at the same time to follow a path of your your soul purpose and in alignment with that and at the same time yes adapting with the circumstances that you have presented right now because for the near future you have the two of earth so you will be going all of this flood of information and knowledge and this vision of the future and your happiness and what is your happiness what makes you happy, what you want to go uh, after, what is your empress, where is your power, where is your abundance, uh, have you been taking care of yourself and your self-esteem, have you been loving and nurturing yourself enough, have you doing things for yourself, have you, have you been experiencing nature in you, so, and then you have the two of earth again, creating this need of, okay, Things may be up and down, up and down, a little bit crazy, but you will put a lot of focus to bring both both different aspects, the opposition together to create the symbol of infinity, which is presented in this card in the traditional uh, tarot, and it's about joining two opposite forces to manifest your power, to manifest and create 
the reality you want. It's about control, but control by understanding that life is about this dance. And until we don't, uh, you, until we, we are, uh, trying to struggle and go beyond obstacles and challenges that may be presented to get to that happy ending, we are learning at the same time. We are still have, a, we are still having opportunities to enjoy this struggle, to, to enjoy this dance because it's teaching you something. And it's like that period that where, where when you get to the Ten of Cups, you will remember this two of Earth and you will see, wow, I struggled, I struggled a lot. Uh, you don't know how many things I had to go through. And you know what? I am thankful, thankful for them because they allowed me to be in this path. They allowed me to learn so many things about me, about others and about life. So even if it means that you will have to juggle, that you will have to wait upon different options without having the opportunity to choose yet, but either to conciliate, to compromise and bring them together to your reality as opposite, as difficult as it seems. And at the same time, having fun and enjoying the process. This is one of the greatest things here. Because also the Empress is this ability, again, nothing, nothing is out of touch with the Empress. She is nature itself. So this balance that you are trying to get towards, this need to conciliate, to adapt to something uh, new, new reality with an old reality, is something that the Empress in the present time, if you really harvest this energy, will help you. Because she's secure, she's abundant, she knows all about struggle, she knows all about balance and how to keep things flowing at their advantage. So really, Sagittarius, it seems a very profitable, uh, fruitful week if you do really align with these energies. And just pay attention to the Nine of Swords, to what keeps you at night. And even that, if you feel like you cannot sleep, if something is bothering you in your mind, anxiety, nervousness, um, um, restlessness, uh, paranoia, those types of feelings, Watch them. Uh, try to understand what they are trying to tell you. Don't fight them. Don't deny them. Of course, try to find your own ways of relaxing and then watching them. Why do I feel nervous? Why do I feel anxious? Why do I need to uh, fear things that I don't know if they are real or not? And I end up making it real, um, creating and representing that fear in the first place to confront myself with my own limitations. So pay attention to the Nine of Swords by really watching your fears and what your anxiety is telling you and then being mindful that everything will be okay because that Two of Earth grants you the ability with the Empress to ground yourself in all the turbulences and all the oppositions that you may face to adapt to a new vision of your life that you are creating. So Sagittarius, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. I really, really appreciate it, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.